Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Patricia. Welcome. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, guys. Make sure you subscribe right here, right now. Thank you. And if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and comment. Let me know what else you'd like to see. And yeah, so today's video, I'm literally just doing a like get to know me, like you can see in the title. So it's just me literally answering questions so you guys can know a little bit more about me. So, I have the questions here on my phone. Some of them I kind of answered just so I could, you know, get a little, you know, heads up on everything. But, yeah, so, question number one. What is your full name? My full name is... Should I answer like that? My full name is Patricia Alexandra de Sá Nogueira Bento. I'll say that in Portuguese. Patricia Alexandra de Sá Nogueira Bento. So, yeah, that's my name. Um, where did you grow up? I grew up in Portugal, Lisbon, Shellish, that's what it's called, and Peterborough. Where do you currently live? I live in Peterborough, yeah. And who's your first best friend? My first best friend is a friend that is still my friend until today. And she used to be my best friend back in like primary school. No, yeah, back in primary school and then she moved to UK and then I just stayed there and then I just got another best friend because I guess that's how it works when you get so yeah my my best friend when I was younger was Denise and she's my friend until today like she's still one of my best friends anyway so yeah funniest moment for secondary school the funniest moments for secondary school I still think that's hilarious but let me tell you guys basically it wasn't re it was secondary school but it was like college kind of thing because it was a uh, sixth form but we we're still in secondary school but yeah, there was a time basically we uh had like media me and my friends we all like obviously ha were together in the same class and we had like media and we went to our lesson and the teacher tells us to uh, that we don't have a lesson today to go study some french or something and really like guys that really really pissed us off like the whole class even these boys that they were not part of our crew obviously but they still went with us because the teacher just told us go study french we don't even study french we don't even do french and he's telling us to just go study some french or something so we got really really annoyed over that so we left and then later on like i think an hour later we had um a lesson with another teacher which was also media but it was a different teacher so we all went to the common room we were just chilling there laughing because we were very pissed off so we said we're not going to the next lesson <laughs> so because we decided to be rebels we're not going to the next lesson we just stayed in the common room this is probably not even funny but for me it was <laughs> for all of us it was hilarious all laughing so all of us in the common room even the boys just chilling there and then it gets to the time the bell rings we don't know we say no we're not going they kicked it out so we're not going <laughs> so we stay in there and like 15 minutes later or something the teacher arrives in the common room and she literally just screams out she went red like guys, she was so so red and she was like oh my god you guys missed the lesson you guys are here i can't even remember what she said but it was just so funny and everyone was just like you guys thought us going to study French and we study in French. That's not funny. I know it's not funny, but it was <laughs> Anyway, that is definitely the funniest moment in school. That was hilarious. Seeing her face and the way she reacted. And guys, she was the calmest teacher ever. Like, so calm. The way she was feeling because <laughs> the to the lesson was hilarious. How tall are you? I'm 5 foot 2, which is 158, I think. Yeah. Uh, where were you born? I was born in Portugal, Algarve, Faro. Yeah. Are you or have you gone to university yet? Yeah, I went to university in London. Um, West London University. How did I just forget my university? Yeah, I went to West London University and I studied events management and tourism. BA honours. Yeah. What is your favourite drink? My favourite drink is Fanta Twist. However, I don't drink fizzy drinks anymore, so I haven't really had that in ages. Ooh, tea or coffee? Right, let's get into that. Tea, I've always been a tea person, always loved tea because coffee, I could never, like, back in the day, back, what, a few months ago, 
I would never drink coffee because it would make me sick so I've always had this thing when I was at uni I tried to drink coffee and I don't know me and my friend just made some mixture of a coffee and was just was nice but I felt sick the whole day guys literally the whole day it was like like I just I was just sick the whole day literally it was awful so since then I've never ever drank coffee again and me I've never liked the smell of coffee the taste of coffee bear in mind I worked in a coffee shop for over a year and I did not drink coffee and I've tried to drink coffee plenty of times I've made different drinks made it like not too strong or with caramel with vanilla syrup like everything guys I've done everything even with like mochas everything and I've never ever liked the taste for some reason, a few months back, I just decided to start drinking coffee. So I started making my own, um, my, no, actually I went to Starbucks and I ordered this drink. I was like, okay, let's get one shot of this and see if it works. I got it. It was actually really nice. It was a cool drink. So I think it's because it was cold. I liked it. So now I drink coffee like nearly, not every day, but very frequently. So I kind of like coffee now. So now I'm like a tea and coffee person because I still like both what is your life goals right life goal is buy a house that's the one thing build a family that's one of my main things i've always wanted to have my own house and build my own family that's like i think nearly every person's dream i guess well maybe not but that's mine i have a successful business i have i own two businesses at the moment and they're still building up but Someone's calling me, but yeah, I have two businesses and they're still just growing and stuff. So yeah, hopefully my business will grow and be up there soon. Hopefully, no, they will be for sure. But yeah, so that's that. Uh, have a proper like mindset balance. Like that's what I'm doing at the moment. I feel like if you're not in the right place, like if you don't know who you are, like if your personal growth is not where it's meant to be like you will never succeed in stuff so me right now that's what i'm taking the time to like learn who i am to just be able to like be happy with myself and be happy with life and stuff so that's kind of my process for the past few months i've just been like learning myself and like what i like what i don't like who i am like who's patricia do you get I me mean? like i need to be able to know who i am and that's what i've been working on for the past month so that is like very important for me at least so that is one of my life goals like have my personal growth like know who i am and exactly what i want and this way like know where my strength strength is where my strength is and where my weakness are and this way is like i can control both and like literally control your life this is the way you control yourself and you can build your future do you get what i mean like if you don't know who you are how you expect people to trust you or any or any other thing do you get what i mean so that is very important one uh improve my physical health obviously like if you're not healthy like if you're not um like if you're not healthy literally anyhow like like i go to the gym and stuff i've been eating healthier all these kind of things like if you're not healthy how could you think of your future kind of thing if you don't even know if you're going to be alive in 10 years do you get what I mean? Like, obviously, I still don't know, but at least my health is okay to be alive in 10 years. So, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. You get what I mean? So, yeah, that's that. And then, obviously, fa have financial stability. So, have money, obviously. Control my money, uh, which is something I do not do. But I have to, I'm, so, I'm, I'm trying, guys. I'm really trying to save some money. So, I'm doing that. I'm trying. I'm trying. What is my biggest fear? My biggest fear is literally to have no family members. Family is so important to me. Like, I cannot think to be alive and not have one, at least one of them. Like, that is just so, I would rather die with all of them <laughs> than be alone without my family. And my second biggest fear is being in a room or in a small place full of spiders. I cannot deal with spiders. But yeah, so that's that. What is your favorite thing to have for breakfast? My favorite thing to have for breakfast is acai bowl or eggs. I love eggs, so eggs are always welcome. I guess we see things. And I do like smoothies as well. I do like to make some smoothies too. Can you close your eyes and raise your eyebrows? Wait, let's try again. 
I can't. How am I doing it? I think I am. No, that didn't work. But yeah, that's one of the questions. So I've just done it. Uh, what sports do you play or have you played? I have played football. I used to play football when I was younger. And I have also played uh, basketball when I was put was out when I was younger in Portugal. I used to play football. We had like a little team can team kind of thing, and we used to just play. I used to also run, but that's not really a sport. Well, it is, but not a sport that you play. If that makes sense. But yeah, so I used to run. I used to play football and basketball. I just used to play in school kind of thing. But yeah, always I always had the passion for football kind of thing. That was actually a thing and i even said no longer i said to my friend i actually want to start playing football again because i actually want to like it's actually fun i did actually say i'm gonna actually tell my friends to see if they would be interested in playing football with me but i don't think they will but yeah we all just so busy so i don't think anyone's gonna want to do that i think it's just something i want to do so i might just get all my family together and just go and play football all of us why not like it should be fun but yeah moving on um what is your favorite movie genre horror i love horror movies but i don't like to watch them by myself if that makes sense but i love horror movies like anytime you say oh let's watch a movie can we watch horror please <laughs> but yeah uh who's your favorite youtuber patricia bright definitely and Jasmine Brown. Those are my two favourites. I've watched them forever, so that's why probably they're my favourites. Maybe there's better ones than them, but I just like them. I love how real Patricia Bright is. Everything is just, like, so real about her, so I just love it. And Jasmine, I just love, like, her hair stuff and everything. Like, they're just my favourite people. YouTubers, let's say that. Anyway, do you speak any language? How well? I speak Portuguese and... I speak Portuguese alright, I guess. Not very... I think I speak alright, like... Obviously, there's words I forget, but I forget words in English, too. I think. I don't know. But I do speak Portuguese well, I think. I believe I do. It's alright. But sometimes, it's like... Because I don't speak... Like, I wouldn't say I speak Portuguese professionally, because I can't. But I can just speak. I can't translate. I can do any for sort of. So, I can do that. So, I guess I can speak well. So... Five to that, and I speak English as well, so five to that. Um, what is your favorite go to hairstyle in a bun? Definitely, I always put my hair in a bun. That is just that is just a go to hairstyle, anyway. Uh, how many siblings do you have? I've got five, I think. Yeah, there's five four boys and one girl, and she's the youngest, but yeah, four boys. Four boys, not easy to have four boys in your family, trust me, but four boys and one girl, and there's me. Yes, that's that. What is your favorite go to fast food order? Obviously, Chinese. Do you have a PC or Mac? Mac, you know, I'm Apple all the way, guys. Apple gang. Why do I keep doing this? <laughs> I'm so weird. <laughs> Anyway, your most memorable vacation memory is, oh my god guys, let me tell you a story. So basically me and my friends went on holiday and I nearly got slapped from this guy. Yeah, he, he nearly slapped me guys. If he wasn't my friend to save me, I would have gone, I would have literally got slapped. And he kind of still touched me. But yeah, I nearly got slapped on holiday and I didn't even do anything. Well, basically, I did do something. I slapped him. Basically, he touched me and I turned around. And imagine that you're drunk and you're pissed off. So, put these two things together. You're drunk, you're pissed off, you want to go to sleep. you literally at the door of your house. And these guys follow your friends home. So, they followed my, my friends home and my cousin stayed, like, somewhere. She, like, and then she was drunk. Everyone was, like, kind of drunk. And she was really drunk. So, like... She went to some other building and the girls came, oh, Patricia, your cousin's, like, outside. And I'm like, fuck, okay. So I came outside and the boys followed them. So the boys were literally just there. So as I'm coming outside to go look for her down, he kind of just touched me. And I literally, guys, it was a reaction that I just went, pa. And I literally slapped him. And I was even like, shit. And these kind of boys are the boys that will hit a girl no matter what. They don't care. They will definitely hit me. And they would obviously... He actually tried to hit me. So then my cousin comes and he goes, did you just slap me? And I was like, yeah. 
And my friend was like, no, she didn't slap you. And I was like, yes, I did. I slapped you. You touched me. I slapped you. <laughs> Guys, honestly. And then he was like, so did, did, did she just slap me? And I was like, yeah, I slapped you. And my friend was like, no, 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 no. She didn't touch you. <laughs> she didn't touch you. And I was like, yes, I did. He touched me and I slapped him. I definitely slapped him. Guys, it was too funny. So then he goes, okay, stay there with your slap. He said something like this in Portuguese. This was in Portugal. So as it was in Portuguese and guys from these ra this race they will definitely hit you no matter what guys So they don't care like whether you're a girl or a boy or whatever if you just do something they will hit you So he would literally hit me but the thing is he touched me guys He didn't touch me and I was like you know he's gonna touch me like that. I don't know you I don't know you from nowhere he just touched some random girl like he's not gonna do this to me So I was just like it was it was a reaction. I've never actually slapped someone until that day besides my brothers But yeah, I've never actually slapped someone like that that like proper jump boom And it was so loud guys. I was just like shit and then after and the thing is like the house was like there was like stairs here and This is outside. So there was like stairs here where you go to the other floors and there was like a way here and the door was literally here the stairs were here and then the stairs down and there's like a little thing here so everyone was like here and me I'm literally stuck in the stairs up here so I could only go up so I'm literally stuck in the stairs so there's I have no way out and he's here all my friends are like here and the house is on this side so I'm like shit so I'm like here and he like asking me did you slap me did you slap me and me obviously I couldn't lose my confidence but I'm shaking myself right there you know and I'm going yes I did slap you yes I did and my friend's going no 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 she didn't slap you and he goes okay stay there with your slap when he says this I step down and as I step down he turns around to literally slap me and my friend is like right here so she literally hits his hand like this and my cousin that the one that I went to look for she comes from behind and punches him like this in his back and then he turns around to go punch her and I managed to come out like I literally managed to come out of the stairs to get in the house and then uh, he literally goes to hit her kind of thing and his friend just goes no just leave it let's go let's go and then they just go guys that was just insane so that is the most memorable holiday ever so that's actually what happened is insane guys you know, what are your morning and evening routines mornings is just kind of just wake up brush my teeth shower done that's the chill i do at night that's when i have more of a routine which is like washing my face and stuff like that i do more of that at night then i'm in the morning in the mornings kind of just wash normal with just soap and stuff and i'm done but at night is where i have more of a night routine but maybe one day i'll have a night routine on my channel i don't know if you guys want to see that let me know and i'll do one but yeah next question do you have any bad habits yeah so emotional shopping if i'm happy or excited i like to shop if i'm upset sad whatever i like to shop so these are the ways i find it to, like when i broke up with my boyfriend i was shopping all the time just because like it was just making me happy i guess that's a way to make that was way i found to make me happy so i would just shop yeah so that's where i kind of spent all my money when i was yeah anyway uh obsessively checking my phone yeah i'm always on my phone that is something i actually want to cut at least three hours a day i want to not be on my phone which that doesn't happen unless i'm sleeping so yeah i need to try do that watching series yeah guys this is literally an obsession if i'm watching something that i really like if it's like a you like series whatever if i find a new person on youtube or anything like that i literally just watch non-stop so that like, i literally go with my laptop everywhere i go to my laptop to the toilet i shower with my laptop i cook with my laptop i do anything literally with my laptop or my phone whichever one if i'm watching series if i'm addicted to it i'll do anything like and if everywhere i go i'll be watching that series that those series non-stop so like this is a really bad habit i have which i have i gained when i was back at uni so it hasn't i haven't lost that yet so i don't think i ever will maybe when i have kids i'll lose that but i don't know okay like i was saying another bad habit I ha another bad habit i have is skipping meals like guys it's not like i do it on purpose but sometimes i wouldn't eat the whole day but it's not because I purposely done it. It's because maybe I just would forget to eat. I 
know people always say how can you forget to eat but i actually do like i didn't do it on purpose but it's like when i remember oh shit i didn't eat today that's when i'm like oh shit i'm hungry or maybe that's why my belly feels so empty that it's because i actually didn't eat but it's not because i've done it on purpose it's just like I just forget like I skip meals a lot like it's something that I should actually try that's what I'm trying to do now so now I'm going like back to the gym and everything so I'm trying to at least eat three meals a day which is gonna be really hard for me because obviously breakfast I have it when like I have time and because it's something that I like to do and I like to have like fancy breakfast and stuff I don't know why but I just like it so I just like like to make my breakfast a bit more you know appealing and nice to look at so that i usually do when i have time but i have to actually start doing like today i said i'm gonna have some avocado toast tomorrow so i need to go make my avocado ready for tomorrow so i can actually have breakfast tomorrow so let's see if that's gonna happen but yeah that's one of the plans so i'm actually trying to have more meals now which is good like today i didn't have food until like three o'clock i think that's when i had lunch and i was awake up since nine so it's really bad i know but i'm trying i'm trying i promise i'm trying anyway name five things that you hate right hearing people chew loudly oh my god i cannot have people chew next to me because i get so angry so much i hate it so much and my brother my oldest brother knows how much i hate it and he literally like if he's eating next to me he will literally chew and look at me and there's me literally going and he's doing it on purpose and he's looking at me because he knows I'm going to look at him but I try do you know when you just try not to look at the person because when he like showing the person that is annoying me they do it even more but my brother like so knows it so he just does it so he literally does it on purpose and it's so annoying but yeah so that's one pulling my hair oh my god when I was a child if I was in a fight I used to fight loads when I was a kid back in Portugal I don't know why but I used to be kind of a I used to fight all the time, like I used to fight my my best friend that I told you guys in the east back in the day I used to fight her, we used to fight all the time, which I don't even, we don't actually remember why we used to fight. But there was this time like in Portugal there's like this big bin kind of thing. I'll have I'll leave a picture here. But it's like there's like those big bins kind of thing in Portugal, like green things, and I literally tried to put her inside. Like, why did I try to do that? We actually don't remember, we both remember that we I tried to do that to put it inside the bin because we were fighting. I don't know, but I used to fight loads when I was younger and if anyone pulled my hair, that was the way for me to get so angry that I could actually kill you. I could, <laughs> I could actually kill you if you pull my hair. Like, I'm so sensitive with my hair, so if you just pull my hair, is that I, I will literally get so angry that I well, I don't even know where I get that strength, but when you pull my hair, it's like you pulled something in my body that it literally brings all the anger out, literally insane. But yeah, that's that. And another one, the third one, spiders. I hate spiders. Cannot see them. I will just scream and cry. I think I've only started to have fear for spiders one time with a friend that literally said to me, oh, you have a spider in your hair. And I went where and i literally had a, that was like an, a literal panic attack guys i've never had a panic attack in my life until that day i was literally panicking i remember this day like it was yesterday we were like in chicken palace which is a place in peterborough where you go have chicken and chips so we were like in a chicken and chips shop and she goes to me oh you have a spider you have like you have something in your hair like a spider or something and i literally scream what I'm literally screaming and me I've never been the kind of person to scream because of these kind of things and I was I felt like such a like a girl like I'm, I'm just so guided and stuff I was literally just screaming ah take it off take it off I was literally screaming take it off and I literally just went like this and I went on the floor and I kept screaming and everyone was just looking at me and I was like and then my friend was like it's gone it's gone I took it off and I'm literally going ah take it off take it off because it's gone it's gone guys i was literally my that i think that's where my big like my actual feel spider started it was then and then one time i went to put my feet in my trainers and i felt something fun, like i felt something in my in my like in my thing on my toes i felt something there and i was like this is weird so i take my feet out and there was this humong like it was huge spider she was really skinny but like i think what i touched was like her body bit so i touched that bit and that's what i felt like a rock so i took my feet out and the spider was huge guys no joke it was so so big and i just screamed and she came out of my train and i was like oh my god and i was just like i 
I, I, I cried that day. No joke. I was crying. It was insane. Like, I can't deal with spiders. That's why I hate spiders. Literally. Anyway. Um, another one is touching me with socks. I hate people touching me with socks. I just don't like it. You can touch me with your toes, with your feet, but not with socks. Like, if you rub socks like this in my skin, uh, I can't even think about it. But, yeah. Just don't do that. Ever. And poor hygiene. Like, hygiene is so important in boys and girls. Like, you just have to be hygienic, I guess. Like, that's just disgusting if you're not. So, those are the five things I hate. It's not much, is it? Like, it's all right. Okay, sorry, the camera just stopped recording. But the question was, uh, what do you need to be happy in life? What do you want for your future? So this is literally the same thing. And I've kind of said this when I've answered what my life goals. So this is basically the same, which is, again, have my own business, have my own house. It's literally like building my empire, which is like business-wise, career, like career-wise, business-wise, family-wise. It's like building my own and just like starting my own thing like everything is like so important in life once you have your own like it's like i've made this like i've made this little kid or i've made this business and now it's this big thing but it's like it's having the desire to create something from nothing to something huge so that is something i've always liked and i think that's why i actually did events management because it's something that i like when you start from literally zero and it's like you create this huge event and it's like this humongous thing and it's just like wow i did this you know and it's like you can be you get so proud of your own person and this is like what like triggers me like, i just love it so this is like one of the things is like creating my own family it's like oh shit i did this like this is mine this is my family like this is my business like i had the idea to do this and i created this like you know what i mean so that's that's literally my this is like how i just see life you know that's just what i want that's how i want my future just to like be able to see something that i build and created so yeah so that's that guys that is the end of the questions i think i've covered quite a lot about me but yeah so that's it guys if you watch all the way here thank you so much you actually love me because i've just been blabbing so much if you watch all the way here i love you for real like you my g like you my heart i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do and i'll see you guys oh again follow me on instagram i'm always active on insta like i'm always there literally like i said i'm always on my phone so make sure you follow me there and yeah i'll see you guys on my next video thank you so much for watching bye